<coughs> hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me, As you can see, it's drizzling. And being, I want to say fair weather back, but you can't film when it's in a pitch down. So, instead of Rivington, I'm just going to visit the bike shop here. The Blackburn Triumph Centre. Philip Yules, who also has a Triumph shop in Manchester. Used to be just scooters in Manchester, but because he's uh, doing quite well with his Triumph stuff. He's expanded the Triumph dealership to Manchester as well. I nearly bought a, uh, what was it, second hand Bonneville, but when you sit on them they're just tiny, no good if you're tall. They should have scaled them up a bit for, <laughs> and in fact what they did, they must have measured an old 1950s or 60s one. Right, we'll uh, reproduce it exactly. What are you doing there? Yeah, they're copies. It's a funny black jerking on. I'll be on the cover. Ready to nab people. If you're doing five miles an hour over the speed limit. Yes, before it starts pissing down properly. I'll just stop off here. Why not indeed? Let's have a look at the second hand ones. You watch another bike when you've got perfection. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, look at that shite on the belly pan. So it covers the crack up. Still looking good. Oh, demonstrator, what is it? Don't shape change, 1050 triple, the door is like that. Explore XC. I'm afraid I'm a bit out of touch with all the new models. Once you get a bike, you lose interest in what else is on the market. Well, I do. There we are, little Bonneville. With a flat seat. I think it's a little bit too identical to the old ones. A lot of people think it's the same company, I have to tell an old chap at work. Yeah, I said, no, it's not, nothing to do with it. What do you mean, nothing to do? Of course it is. I said, it isn't. It was a multi-millionaire businessman, John Bluer. I think he was in the building trade. Had a few hundred million to spare, so he revitalised it. And because of the nostalgia boom, actually he didn't bring out any replicas, did he, originally? It was just, uh, they all used the same triple engine. And then you realise it'd be a good marketing play to reproduce the old Bonneville design. And the tank logo. Yeah, and this old chap, we end up on a bloody 500cc Aprilia scooter from a BMW. And a BMW touring bike with all ferrying on. Ah, yeah, so well, come down with me, I'll show you where the triumph shop is. You can have a test ride on Bonneville. Ah, yeah, I will do sometime, and you never did it. Next thing, you come to work on an Aprilia 500cc scooter. <sighs> No pleasing some people. Wasn't like that exactly. What's that? It's ten. Funny bulky back end. Nice light configuration on scooters though. Why haven't bikes got them? Imagine having wide twin brake lights on a proper bike. <laughs> I 
course some bikes are like that. Mated an RS900, they've got a good light configuration. Twin brake lights and then another two lights for running lights. Four lights at back, it looked lovely. You were lovely. Just like Blackpool Illuminations. Factory, it's nice. You mm, can smell coffee. On you. Oh, there we are, a tiger. Who was it with a tiger on the, the vlogs? I forgot now. Was it Dr. Rod or a crumble? Crumble, innit? Crumble. He's got a tiger. What do you pay for it? 8 7. Is that a good price, crumble or what? It was that's nice, isn't it? They hand paint them uh, pinstripes. What's we got in the second hand range? I always like them W800, they're a bit pricey. What's that? Five grand. Kawasaki's copy of the train for it. as well, a Versus, when, I'd, uh, when I was shopping around for a bike, and I got my Hornet instead. They had a second hand one of these for over three grand, because mine was just three grand. I plumped for the Honda Hornet. Plump. I plumped. Bandit 650. Well, I do like that. 
Thunderbird of course is a 1700cc, not like the big... It's a new one, isn't it? 2.3 litre rocket free. We still have about 5 in. Probably sold them all. Hello, alright. No, I'm alright, thanks. It's just dry. I'm just heading to Rivington. And on hill, it's just really thick, it's either mist, soaking wet, or it's going to start pissing down, so I thought, sod it, I'll come here for a look at bikes and then go home. Yeah, thanks very much, I can smell a nice smell of ground coffee, actually, it's, it's tempting me, but when I'm at home, I've half a pack of custard creams with it, you haven't got them here, have you? Well, I'm, I'm a cookie monster, you see, can't have a brew with a handful of biscuits. Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Yeah, I've just uh, been giving it a once over with some Mr. Sheen, it's looking great. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Yeah, I had nothing but trouble with it. The bloody brake seized up and then started, trying to start in the morning, going to work. It took 10 minutes, well, 10, 15, 20 minutes of record to start up. And it finally died on me. I went, I stopped to, for a paper, a paper shop on Blackburn Road. Got back to me bike. <coughs> a nasty grinding metal noise. I thought shit. So I wheeled it back home. Rocket centre came out and he says, uh, Are you sitting down? I've got a taxi to work, come back home. They rung them up. Are you sitting? I said, What? Starter motor's knackered, that's £480. Sprank clutch is disintegrated, that's what the grinding noise were. That's £80. This, that, this, that. You're talking about £1,200 before labour. No, I only paid a thousand for it. No, eleven hundred, sorry. Anyway, so I said, well, forget it. Uh, pardon. I knew a bit taken aback, so I can't afford that. I'll have to sort some of out second hand. I run your Renault scrap yards. And my brother in the backyard for two weeks. My brother said, I'll have a look at it. Took it because he knows all over engines. She never wrong with star tomorrow. Said the bullshit in you just to get more money off you. I said, well, they do that. Said, of course, well, that's what somebody disreputable places do. So I'm a bit pissed off. And he said, said, leave it with me. Anyway, went on the internet, sprang clutch, 40 quid, not 80 like they said, 40. Changed that, flushed it through with the uh, cheap oil. And when all bits, he said, your, your filters caught most of bits. When they said it's all rain your engine, that were another lie. So your filters caught all bits. So he flushed it through. Next thing, he's turning down my street. He said, I'll buy it off for you, because I bought another bike, that CB500, because I'd next go to work on. I've got a loan out for, I paid 1350 for that CB. He said, as you've got another bike, I'll buy this off for you. How much do you want? I said, well, as it's running again and it's fine, just give us 500 right, I'll have it. And you put new exhaust on, and then two weeks later, I said, where's your where's bike? I sold it on eBay. I said, what? He said, what? Wife won't let me keep it, she said I'll kill myself on it. Oh, um, sorry, it's on its thumb. <laughs> yeah, so I had that CB, eh? Really? No trouble with it, no sprag clutch disintegration. <laughs> yeah, well, it is, it's, uh, well, we've been tall as well, it's quite a comfortable riding position, but a bloke in pub, I was telling him, he has a Triumph uh, similar to Rudder. You probably know him, but I don't know his name, he's just a grey haired, a curly grey hair, losing grey talk. He works at post office maintaining machines. But he has a Triumph, and he, he, he come he come here to get uh, his latest bike. Anyway, he said, how do you go on with that Aprilia? So I told him, he said, ah, there's a neck. He said, the reason your sprank looks disintegrated, you meant to go backwards in gear and decompress it and then start it up. If you're just pressing it random, that frame would have broken you. I said, well, that. I said, decompression, that's an old thing. From, you used to have a lever in the 1960s bikes, didn't you? Decompress to kick them over. I said, well, it still applies. Said, if you just press start with a big 650 single, that's why it... <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, so that's why it's, uh, sh it's shattered, I said, oh well, I've not got it anymore. 
Yeah, I bought that with compensation from me, my CB family. got smashed up last July, I tell you. I went flying through air, and our fella went through a junction and crashed into my CB500. I bounced off his bonnet from my shoulder, flew through the bloody air, landed in a heap. I didn't see you. I was wearing this, actually, my so-called high vis So, of course, I put a claim in, and I got 5750 altogether. And I bought that and this camera with change. Yeah. There's always some silly buggers about. Yeah, you don't see many about. You see a lot of 600s, but... Uh, that's right, yeah, down-tuned. I don't know why they down-tuned it. It's meant to give more torque. That chain looks a bit slack, actually. It's naughty. I'll adjust it when I get home, if I've got patience. I like that Thunderbird. Is that a factory paint job? It's not a special... Oh, all right. Crash bars and everything. And cruiser pegs. <laughs> yeah, lovely, yeah. 